Hi, my name is Callum, and I'm here to talk to you about a prominent children's book author and illustrator who featured multicultural children in his picture books. Um, I believe that Jack Ezra, or Ezra Jack Keats, is an author whose collection should be in every elementary school library. One of his most famous books, and one of the first books I remember reading that featured um, an African-American child, is The Snowy Day. Um, the Snowy Day received a Caldecott Medal in 1963. It features an African-American boy named Peter exploring his um, neighborhood after the first snowfall. The inspiration for Peter came from a series of photos in Life magazine depicting a young boy um, about to get an injection and uh, Ezra Keats was so inspired with this that he held on to these pictures for 22 years before he ever um, created the story of Peter and the Snowy Day. Um, but Peter makes an appearance in um, six of Keats' children's books. Uh, these include The Snowy Day, of course, where um, Peter is the youngest, he's four. And then we have Peter's chair in which Peter gets a new sister and all of his furniture is starting to be painted pink and he has to deal with that. Um, then we have Pet Show, which the neighborhood throws a pet show and he, Peter's cat sits next to um, an old lady and she ends up winning the pet show instead of Peter and he brings a germ. Um, then we have a letter to Amy in which Peter invites Amy, the, a girl, to his um, birthday party. Then we have Goggles, which um, also was a Caldecott honor book in which Peter has to um, kind of fend off him and his little brother from the um, older gang that are trying to steal, steal these goggles that he's found in the neighborhood. What I love about Keats books is that they feature a multicultural neighborhood um, and many different races. There's uh, there's Peter and his family, but then there's also um, there's also Sam and his little brother, and um, you know all different races. And they're about ordinary childhood adventures. They don't always feature you know some kind of race struggle or anything like that. They um, they're about adventures and just getting along with your friends and inviting girls over to your birthday party and things that every child can relate to no matter where they're growing up. Um, so what made the books about um, Peter different is that working on a, Keith says, working on a book with a ki black kid as a hero, none of the manuscripts he I'd been illustrating featured any black kids except for the token blacks in the background. My book would have him there simply because he should have been there all along. Um, Keats had public, had um, illustrated a few before him, but none of them had featured any of the black um, children. In Keats' neighborhood, there are children from all backgrounds, including African American, Hispanic, Asian, and white. Uh, the Keats neighborhood reflects the neighborhood that Jack grew up in, Brooklyn. Born in 1916 to Polish Jewish immigrants, his family struggled to make ends meet through the Great Depression uh, and the World Wars. Even though his parents supported um, Ezra's love of art and believed in his talent, they were concerned he wouldn't be able to support himself. Um, he wanted to go to art school, but his father's death forced him to find work to help support his family. Uh, Ezra used his artistic abilities to paint murals for Works Progress Administration, and he drew backgrounds for Captain Marvel comics. During World War II, he designed camouflage. Uh, and throughout his life, his family has, had faced prejudices against Jews, this most likely led to his sympathetic outlook toward other minority social groups. After the war, he worked in commercial illustrations. His work appeared in advertisements, magazines, and newspapers. Uh, eventually, his work was seen by a publisher, and he was asked to illustrate a children's book. And it wasn't long after that that he began writing his own children's books. By the year of his death in 1983, after a heart attack, uh, Ezra Jack Keats had illustrated over 85 books and written and illustrated 22 children's books.
Throughout his career, he was recognized and awarded for his work in children's literature. And in 1985, the Ezra Jack Keats Award was established. The award seeks books that portray the universal qualities of childhood, a strong and supportive family, and the multicultural nature of our world.